Now, here are the top three side hustles in 2023 that's probably gonna make you more money than your job this year. I'm gonna start from the least riskiest to the most risky, and that first one being affiliate marketing. If you're familiar with the online community, this is a very, very simple business model to where you don't even have to own the product and you don't have to own anything that has to do with the product. You're pretty much just a referral person. You're just the middleman that comes in and refers products to businesses and to people. And when they purchase, you get a commission for that. Amazon notoriously has their Amazon affiliates program, basically Anybody that refers somebody an Amazon product can go ahead and get a commission off of the total basket. And this is anywhere from like two to 5%, but there's other websites like ClickBank, for example, where you can get even higher commissions on people's products. So the way it works is you just sign up and you kind of just browse all the products that are there that are from verified sellers. So they have a bunch of different industries like health and fitness, self-help, e-business, home and garden, and when you join you'll be able to apply as an affiliate and you'll be given a special link now whenever you refer people and you get people to join you'll be able to get a commission and sometimes these commissions are pretty high they're upwards of hundreds of dollars on single products that you are probably passionate about so the best way that you're actually going to be able to succeed with this is to create viral videos okay if you haven't seen my four skills that you need in 2023 to make your first 100k check out that video i'll link it up here but one of those skills is going to be video editing and that's going to give you a huge advantage because you're gonna be able to market your products, you're gonna be able to communicate messages, and you're gonna be able to refer other people to you know check out some other products that they might be interested in so the fastest way to grow with this method is to just post one video a day on TikTok, on youtube on instagram reels okay one video that you create can be used in three different platforms now you have three different sources of viewership so you can absolutely use this to grow but the bad part about that is that it's going to take a little bit longer for things to kick up but once things do kick up it'll start snowballing pretty quickly because you'll have catalog of videos referring people and links all over the place and that is going to get you monthly commissions on autopilot another way to go about affiliate marketing let's say you don't want to use clickbank or anything like that you can go to youtubers right and you could just look at some youtubers that are trending and growing already and they'll have a base of content that you can use and just say hey i would love to recreate your content i would love to repurpose your videos and make them into shorts and reels and you can attach your affiliate link from their program that they give you and put them underneath the captions and the descriptions of those videos and that way you're using their content you're not doing anything special you're just editing their videos using their content and as it blows up from other platforms because they already have a growing fan base so you're basically going to get a percentage of all the people that join through their programs i'm even thinking about doing an affiliate program for econ bootcamp but i'll keep y'all posted make sure you subscribe on information on that the second side hustle that you could do in 2023 online is going to be starting in your own agency this is a little bit more riskier because you are dealing with clients but let me show you how it works in a basic form what I would do is go to a website like Upwork or Fiverr for example and what you could do is let's say we wanted to start a logo design agency what I would do is look at some of these people selling their services for about 10 you know you can see some over here for $15 but you can also see some people selling theirs for about $30 so let's say uh, you could get somebody to design logos for you for $10 each what you could do is create a profile on Fiverr and sell your services for $30 now every time a customer purchases from you what you would do is you will forward their information to another contractor that only costs about ten dollars to get the work done and you'll keep everything in between making a twenty dollar profit every single time let's say you service a hundred customers in a month that's going to be three thousand dollars in revenue and in that case you're only paying a thousand dollars to actually get the work done from contractors so you'll be able to keep the two thousand dollars in between as pure profit that is one way you could go about it and you could do this with any type of service it doesn't have to just be logos logos is one of the easiest ones but let's see there's a whole bunch of other um, things that you could do here you could start multiple if you want you can even do web design so let's say you know you charge customers four hundred dollars to get a website built 
but it only costs you $100 from another contractor that's willing to do it at a lower cost. Whenever somebody books from your link or through your profile on Fiverr or Upwork, what you could do is forward the information that is needed to build a website to a designer for about $100, let's say, and you'll be able to keep $300 in between without you having to lift a finger. You're just transferring the information from one person to the other and you're hiring them at a lower cost. You can start agencies easily like this and yes, you're gonna make more profit. It's gonna be more of an opportunity for you to grow an actual business, but it is gonna be a little bit more work in the beginning setting up the frameworks, but the hardest part is gonna be getting your first sale. After that, you pretty much have a good feel of you know the work quality that you're going to get from the contractors and how you're going to communicate both parties with each other now the third side hustle i know a lot of y'all saw this coming but that is going to be drop shipping okay a lot of mixed feelings that people have on drop shipping whether they think it's saturated whether they think drop shipping is dead and i always say that it is a right way to do drop shipping and a wrong way to do drop shipping out of all the three side hustles that i mentioned today drop shipping is probably going to be the most riskiest but with those risks comes great returns if you actually know what you're doing. A very basic way of understanding dropshipping is you need three things. You need a product that you're going to sell. You're going to need a website and you're going to need good ads. OK, so the way to do this is check out websites like AliExpress. And what you want to do is find products that are high in demand and that people are actually looking for and willing to buy right now. There's a bunch of ways to gauge this. I'll link a video up here of how to find winning products because that's that's mainly what I teach on my channel is drop shipping. And that is how I came up. That is how I got out the hood. If you want to do that, that is probably the best business model to start because it's going to give you explosive growth, especially for somebody who doesn't have too much experience. You can get away with finding a winning product, building out a nice converting website for it, make your ads go viral. And all of a sudden you got a bunch of traffic coming into your store and you're making a bunch of sales and you have cash flow and you know, you're making 30% profit margins easily have a 30 grand profit but it does come with more risk you're gonna need to put a little bit of money up i can show you how to do this at a low cost just to start off but eventually you're gonna need to reinvest into the business to keep growing and spend money on paid ads and take care of the cost of the products and it ultimately it is a great business because after you got some cash flow and you've proven a demand what you could do is take that business and brand it and you can make it even better get the fast shipping for the customers with sourcing agents you can brand the products and you know put your logo and designs on them so it'll teach you a very good set of skills as well as far as like marketing building a brand and just managing a team and operations so that is by far going to be the best type of business model in my opinion of course i'm biased but go ahead and try it out for yourself out of these three businesses which one do you think is more appealing to you did i get it right did i get it wrong let me know in the comments like comment subscribe i'll catch you on the next vid peace